not think our continent is going to be developed using charity or handouts or arms or um, uh, uh, tokens. We have talked in our continent about potential. And I, this guy keeps telling me it's over. The time to talk about potential is over. Move it to opportunity, move it to investment. And the way to do that is to make sure that our situation in the continent is such that we have equal opportunity like everybody else. For a very long time, we've had a wrong argument. You know, we've tried to blame this person and the other person and engage in a toxic, unnecessary conversation. What we are now saying is, look, we want a win-win outcome. We have assets as a, as a continent. We have enormous renewable assets. 60% of all renewable energy is in our continent. 30%, maybe 40% of all critical minerals are in our continent. We have 60% of all arable, uncultivated land today. And we have the youngest population. These assets must count for something. And all we are saying is, how do we work to convert our assets from the potential they are today into opportunity and into investment? And we have given three areas. We've said, first and foremost, let us deal with the elephant in the room that for us to access resources for development, we pay five, six, seven, sometimes eight times more in the financial market. Reason? The rating agencies, risk analysis, sovereign debt frameworks are, let me not use the bad word rigged, but it is something that almost there because these rating agencies assign very high risk to our, uh, our, our continent. What we end up doing is that we pay interest more than others, and that is the reason why today, of the 10 countries that are in debt distress, six are from Africa. All of them are in the developing world, because if you're paying eight times more, you're set up for distress from the beginning. And that is the correction we want to make. We are saying the rating agencies, the risk analysis frameworks must be uh, reformed. And let me tell you, it works both ways. The reason why we ended up in a financial crisis in 2007 is because of the same rating agencies. They were wrong that time. I bet you they are wrong today about us.